Welcome to the Two Brew Review. This week we're checking out not one, but two beers. We are checking out Pretzel Logic Fest beer and Oktoberfest, a Merzen Lager. Both of these beers are produced by Mickey Finn's Brewery, the oldest continually operating a brewery in the state of Illinois. So we are um, in Oktoberfest season, which happens, I believe it's like the third weekend of September uh, and goes all the way into October. Uh, the annual festival, which was uh, first launched over in Munich, Germany, and uh, over the last uh, several decades has made its way over here to the United States and is celebrated uh, throughout um, our country as well as Germany. And uh, so I thought it would be a ideal time to go through the style evolution of, of, of Oktoberfest because way back in the day, uh, this style, the Märzen style, was the beer that was commonly served at Oktoberfest. Uh, Märzen in German means March, and this was a lager brewed in the springtime in March and uh, uh, stored in... Um, in cool cellars and ice caves uh, d during the course of the summer months. And then when uh, things cooled off in the fall and the harvest began, they would roll out these barrels of this rich malty uh, Martzen lager and celebrate the harvest. And for decades, this was the beer style that was served at Oktoberfest. Oct uh, but in the 90s, they started to uh, lighten up the uh, um, the profile a little bit and they came up with this style. And this style is now called the Fest beer because it is it was specifically made for the um the uh, the Oktoberfest in Munich. So this is um still very malt forward but a little bit lighter, a little bit drier and crisper, a little more poundable. Um so when you're drinking those giant liter steins of uh, uh of beer, uh frankly you could probably drink maybe a few more of these than you could uh, this guy. So uh, this beer in the last eh, four or five years, I've seen American brewers start to make this style of beer as well as continue to make the uh, the, the, the old school uh, Martin Lager. So when you go to the stores and you buy an Oktoberfest, more than likely it is going to be this uh, you know, darker, malty, old school one. Uh, but again, I am seeing more U.S. brewers uh, and uh, come up with the, the what is now the recognized fest style beer. So we're going to try them side by side, so you can kind of see the difference in in between the two. So let's go ahead and get into this. This uh, is a 16 ounce can. Uh, usually, it's pretty easy to tell when you've got those uh, blue diamonds. That's the, the, the a symbol of Oktoberfest. You'll often see the the blue diamonds or blue checkered. Um, that that tends to be let you know that it's it's probably a, uh, a fest style beer. There is the independent craft brewer logo, and this one is five and a half percent ABV, so you know pretty approachable. And you can see with the color on this one, you've got a uh, kind of a hazy gold, maybe a light amber, hazy gold. Um, you got that nice white head that's uh, kind of dissipating. It seems like it's very, very effervescent. Ooh, yeah. So get the nice, sweet, grainy, doughy aromatics. There's a little bit of herbal hoppiness in there, but it's definitely um, malt forward in the nose. Cheers. Flavor definitely follows suit. Again, I like a, um, you know, doughy, like an, that unbaked, yeasty, doughy flavor. Um, and I'm getting a little hint of toast, but it's more of that um, uh, that doughy, bready character. Definitely, this is a well-attenuated beer, nice and crisp. Again, the effervescence and the amount of carbonation it's got in it makes it kind of bubbly, and it kind of lends to a very dry finish. And I am getting a nice um, lingering, pleasantly lingering hot bite in the finish. So this actually has a little more hot character than I would um, liken to this beer style, but uh, still malt forward and very drinkable. Now let's compare that to the Oktoberfest. And once again, you've got the blue colored can, uh, again, the, the diamond shapes on there, just a different shade. I kind of like the fact that this is a lighter beer, so it's a lighter shade of blue. This one's darker, darker shade, 
well, well played, Mickey Fins. There's your independent craft brewer logo. And this is 5.7% ABV. So just a touch higher in strength than your Fest beer. And there you can see the pour. It's more of an amber. And the head is a little more like a beige head. Just to compare it side by side, you can see the difference. Your Fest beer versus your Martzen beer. Yeah, de definitely getting more of a rich, malty aromatic to this one. Also getting a nice little bit of toast in there too. Where the other one was kind of doughy, this one's more toasty. Mm. Again, very malt forward, very creamy. I like the mouthfeel of this. Um, it's got a little more body to it, but it's not full bodied. Um, you know, I would call it medium bodied. And it does definitely have that clean lager finish. Um, very flavorful, rich, malty. Um, again, a little bit more filling than the Fest beer, but not heavy. It's still very drinkable, very crushable. Um, so if you get a chance, and it's pretty cool that one brewery, Mickey Finn's, is making both. If you get a chance, try them both <clears throat> side by side and see which one that you like better. So there you have it. Fall in a glass. We've got from Mickey Finn's Pretzel Logic Fest beer, and also from Mickey Finn's Martzen Lager Oktoberfest Prost.